Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and on episode five of Nathan Lott's Apple Thoughts, my app of the week was Reader 5. Reader 5 is an RSS reader, which stands for Really Simple Syndication. All that means is that you can follow an RSS feed for a blog or a website, and whenever new content is available, it comes straight to you. So let's take a look at Reader 5. It is $4.99 on iOS and $9.99 on the Mac. We'll mainly focus on the Mac version, but I will show you the iPhone and iPad versions as well. So here is Reader. Over on the far left, I have my RSS service. So Feedbin is the one I, I use currently. The middle pane will be all of the articles, either unread, all, whether they have been read or not, and favorites, those that have been starred. If I, I click on one, then in the right panel, the biggest one, I see the entire article. I can favorite it. I can mark it as unread. This is bionic reading. This is a type of font display that shows things that are bold and just normal text. And it's supposed to be a way to make reading clear for people. It's not something that I would ever use, but it is there available. And if some websites like 9to5Mac don't show you the full article. They have it truncated, what they call above the fold. So if you click more, it will take you to the website with all the ads and you can read the full episode, full, full article. But if you don't want to see the ads and you just want to see the text, one of the things I really like about Reader is this Reader mode. So that it will show the full text of the article for you to read. And you can set it so that if there are websites like 9to5Mac that always show you that truncated version, you can go into Reader Preferences and your account, Reader View, and select those websites that you want to see full text Reader Views by default. So for example, I might want to see 9to5Mac come, always come up as a full text re in reader view. While we're in preferences, let's take a look at all of the accounts that it supports. I heard on a podcast recently that the iCloud feeds have gotten a lot better and syncing really works a lot better. So I'm thinking about maybe giving up Feedbin, which I pay $5 a month for and saving some money going back to iCloud. This way I can have all of my articles synced across devices as I would with Feedbin or any of these other services, but it's free and it's part of Apple. There's also a read later service through iCloud. Feeds on my Mac is just local that, that will not sync between devices. There are read later services like Pocket and Instapaper then all the services it supports, like Feedbin, Feedly, Feed Wrangler, FeedHQ, Newsblur, The Old Reader, Inner Reader, and Bazcux. Another thing I really like about Reader are all the sharing options. So you can copy a link, add it to your Safari reading list, email it, message it to someone, airdrop it, add it to notes or reminders. A lot of different options under Share. You can even open it in Safari, Chrome, and Firefox. If you go back into Preferences, another neat feature is that any of these share items, you can either add a keyboard shortcut to or show them in your toolbar. So for example, if I wanted to show my three browsers, Safari, Chrome, and Firefox, you can see up here it add, added them in. So I could open that article in Firefox, Chrome, 
or Safari. But let's say that I wanted to add a new feed. I can click on this plus, and I don't have to know the special URL for the RSS feed. I, I just have to know the URL for the website. So if I wanted to subscribe to Leo Laporte's blog, I could go to leo.fm, search, and it comes up with the RSS feed for his blog, and I can add it to a folder. I can either create a new folder from here or add it to an already existing folder. I might add it to tech and then click on subscribe. So when I refresh, I have three articles in leo.fm's feed. Now let's say that I want to move everything off of Feedbin into that iCloud account I was talking about. I don't want to pay the $5 a month anymore. So what I can do is I can add an account under accounts, and I'm going to add feeds iCloud. As you can see, there are no items. I'm going to have to go back to my Feedbin account and go to File, Export as OPML to get all of my blogs exported out so I can import them into another service. So I'm going to export this to my desktop as Feedbin and save and replace. So now I will go to my iCloud feeds that has no items, click on the plus and import from OPML. So here we are in my desktop. I'm going to import the OPML file from Feedbin. And as it's syncing, everything will be reloaded again. Then it came up with some issues that specified hostname couldn't be found or the certificate for the server is invalid. So these are kind of old blogs. I can go ahead and unsubscribe from them. If I compare these, I have my feeds from iCloud and then Feedbin. There are 2,721 unread items in Feedbin and 1,456 in unread. It didn't import everything, but really I can't read all of those items anyway. One thing you can do, if I'll go back to Feedbin, is if you just know that you're not going to be able to read all of these articles, you can click on the little check mark and just click mark all as read. Some people may call that declaring feed bankruptcy or something like that. So that is the basics for Reader on the Mac. Let's take a look at reader on the iPad. So go ahead and quit. So I have my iPad open and I'm going to go ahead and launch reader. So here is all of my unread items on the iPad. Again, I have all the access to just see my favorites unread or all. In fact, everything looks almost exactly like it does on the Mac except now everything is at the bottom. So you can make it unread, you can favorite it, reader view, bionic reading. You have this new down arrow, which just takes you to the next article. And then you have all of your share items, which brings up the share sheet in iOS. You have all of your theming, so it automatically turns light and dark mode which is what I have my iPad set for. When uh, after sunset, it goes into dark mode. I can auto hide and show bars. I have my default font, or I can change that font to something else. Default font, font size, I can make the text size bigger, space it more or less, and maximize the width between lines. Over here in this section, I have my image previews, display the favicons for the website, preview the text, dim archived articles, sort unread items by newest first and group by date. I also have all of the settings that are 
on the Mac version. And then I can also add my new account for iCloud. And let's see if that syncs. So my new iCloud feeds account did sync to 1,458 unread feeds. Now let's take a look at Reader on the iPhone. So here's the iPhone up and I'll pull up Reader. Again, I have all my unread items. It's syncing everything up. I have my articles and again, I can go into reader mode and see the entire article without going into the web page. And let's see if my new iCloud reader service is available on the iPhone now too. So here we are in Feedbin. I can go ahead and add my iCloud account and it will sync the feeds. So now everything is available via iCloud across all of my devices now. Again, you have all of your settings similar to the iPad and you have your share sheet just like you would have on the iPad as well. So that is a quick tour of Reader on iOS and on Mac. That is my app of the week for this week. Thank you for watching.